Figure 5.1 shows a sphere that is negatively charged. The sphere is attached to a plastic stand. Negatively charged or net negatively charged, the electrons more than the number of protons. In part A, on figure 5.1, draw arrows to indicate the pattern and direction of the electric field in the region surrounding the sphere. Using pencil and ruler, draw straight lines and keep in your mind the equal spaces between the electric field lines and the direction of the electric field which is inward. This question has two marks. For the word inward, one mark. For equal spaces, one mark. Part B. Smaller unacharged, which it means the zero net charge number of positive equals to the number of negative metal sphere S suspended by a plastic thread, which is insulated on and brought close to the negatively charged sphere. Figure 5.2 shows the two spheres. In I, by drawing on figure 5.2, indicate, which it means to point out or to show the distribution of a charge on S. Here on the sphere, which is on the left side, as shown here, the electrons have the same sign of a charge, which leads to repulsion force between these electrons. Finally, the electrons are generally distributed on the surface of the sphere. And to indicate these electrons, I insist to keep this one, which is labeled by X, at X, for example, induce the positive charges to be aligned at the left side of the sphere S. And at the same time, these electrons at X repel the other electrons at Z to be aligned at the right side of the sphere S. This question has two marks. So one mark for negative charges on right and positive charges on left. An equal number because it was uncharged from the beginning. For double I state, state it means to give a specific name or other brief answer without explanation. What happens to S? So the answer is attracted, moved, or accelerated. And I prefer to mention the direction as well, to the left, or move toward the net negatively charged sphere, or it accelerated toward the net negatively charged sphere. The reason behind this one, if the examiner might ask you later about the explanation, there is attraction force between the electrons at X and the positive charges at Y. This attraction force more than repulsion force between the electrons at X and the other electrons at Z. So the, there is a kind of net resultant force which causes the whole freely suspended sphere S to be accelerated to the left side. Two marks, one mark here for the word attracted or moved or accelerated. Trivial I, an earth wire is then touch against S. Describe what happens in the wire and state how this affects the charge on S. Describe it means give a detailed account or picture of a situation, event, pattern or process. To get the two marks for this question, sometimes I'm, I'm advising you again to draw. You connect the earth wire to the negative side. Why? Because the, because of the presence of the electrons at X, they induce the wanted charges at Y, the positive here, and repel these electrons. So we name them unwanted charges or unwanted electrons. So when you connect the earth wire from this side, these electrons here, 100% they move down to the earth, which is, has 
which has no charge. So these electrons, they move, they go through the wire or they discharge through the earth wire and leaving behind positive charges. So the sphere finally has excessive number of positive charges compared to the electrons. So I would say it net positively charged. I insist to draw a, another sphere for the positive charges at the left side and no charges at the right side if you remove the earth wire. Two marks, one mark for the electrons and one mark for the positively. Last part, C. The metal sphere S is an electrical conductor. The plastic thread is an electrical insulator. Explain it means to give a detailed answer or account. This difference by referring to the structure. Structures, it means that in terms of electrons or positive charges, mainly the electrons. So the electrons here, to differentiate between electrical conductor and insulator, I start my answer by using the word electrons. In metal spheres, they are freely to move, but electrons in plastic thread are not freely to move or they are in fixed position. This question has two marks. One mark for the word electrons and one mark for describing the structure itself. Freely to move or they vibrate in fixed position. Thank you.